Althea's audio leaflets. Soloism, Truity, and Divine Interventions. Written by Thea M. Wiggins Clark. Folks will claim to love you until they discover that you've rekindled the parts of yourself beyond this realm, this third dimensional frequency. They've been generationally conditioned to fear that which exists beyond the light. Whilst they are busy yelling from the metaphorical rooftops, do the work, know thyself. And then within the very next instances, shun you for being odd, difficult, different, weird. What happens when the voyager discovers he's from a royal bloodline of medicine men, herbalists, and witch doctors? Is he now required to keep quiet regarding this wondrous identity? Who will join him in the celebration of him, no longer being riddled by the feelings of not properly belonging anywhere with anyone? Suppressing this knowledge, this honorarium, for the sake of fitting in, because the very same ones screaming, know thyself, are of a steering belief that those of his kind are somehow evil, more evil than those that concoct synthetic remedies that never cure, plus pile on more ailments outside of the one it claims to soothe. What's to happen when he discovers the power-ridden elements to his avail through the cosmic cocktail of his sun, moon, and ascending? That which activates upon awareness, a triangular view of outlooks and purviews. I wonder. When he figures out this is the precise power and the knowledge of such that was stolen, the stolen treasures seven generations removed. This particular knowledge has been desperately moving through lifetimes to get back to his mental and emotional mainframes. Corona. The energetic activations of this celestial infection, something that the thieves knew was bound to unfold. Consequently, they ignored the prophecy as it was being told. Thus, they tirelessly, tirelessly, <laughs> tirelessly <laughs> went to working and crafting biological blockers to, yet again, prolong this evitability. Relying heavily upon the ignorance of the muse majority, he ponders, he ponders often about this unique addiction to remaining in the unknowing. He aches for those he loves to finally get a fucking clue because surely it's way overdue. But he refuses to push, also knowing that haste makes waste and this existence is all about tastes and treasures that must be cut and paste. In one's own divine timing, he knows this to be true. Therefore, he patiently awaits for the cycles that indicate a new, a better view, a sturdier energetic glue. For oneself, this must benchmark true. If not, then he runs the risk of furthering this dismal lack of evolutionary hue. and all will truly be wasted. Just like the never ending story, the proverbial voyager got a taste of himself through the lens of the greater narrative. All was forgiven because he finally realized it unfolded exactly as it was divinely signatured. All roads lead to him and from him, the ebbs and flows of his reality will latch and hook 
to the rhythms and reasons and rhymes and reasons and rhymes and rhythms to his destined free will. Thus, all his mistakes, pitfalls, detours, character assassinations, aligning assumptions against his true intentions, all were divinely ordered for the sake of his keen, uniquely structured existence. So here's to him, this remarkable complexity, the one that can't be, won't be boxed or shelved.